Hello everyone, welcome back to a new product review with me, John, and today I'm going to be reviewing a product that just came out. It is not yet available in stores, but it has been released to certain restaurants, one of which is called The Dog House. Um, I also believe Fat Burger and maybe another one has it, but in Chicago, there are no Fat Burgers, <clears throat> but there is three doghouse locations and what that product is is impossible chicken nuggets if you've seen my rev uh, reviews of the impossible burger before you know that I enjoy it I think it is the closest plant-based substance to beef there is out there better than the Beyond Burger which the Beyond Burger is not bad but impossible burger is leaps and bounds above it so today, I've procured myself Impossible Nuggets, but Doghouse also has Beyond Chicken Tenders, but they also have real chicken. I have a real piece of chicken from Doghouse right here. And all I'm going to do today is taste these three side by side and tell you, one, are they good? And two, do they taste like chicken? And then overall, between the Beyond and the Impossible Chicken Nuggets, which one tastes the most like chicken? So, for a baseline, let's go ahead and taste the chicken. This is real chicken. This is a piece off of a chicken breast. Um, <clears throat> I got a chicken sandwich from them. I thought it was made of chicken tenders, but it was a chicken breast, so I had to break off just a chunk of it. Smells like fried chicken. Tastes like fried chicken. Because it is chicken. Alright. Next up. We're going to try the Beyond Tender. This was uh, taken off a sandwich, so it has a little bit of mayo on it. I'm going to bite it from the end that doesn't have mayo on it, just so I can get the most basic flavor out of it. That don't look like chicken at all, that's for sure. It does have a fake meat flavor to it. The fact that it's seasoned and fried though, it makes it taste pretty good. The texture is way off. Is it passable as chicken? If you are a vegetarian, sure. Um, the texture is off. The flavor has a distinct fake meat flavor to it. But overall, it doesn't, it's not something that I would say tastes bad. All right. Now the reason why we're here. The Impossible Chicken Nugget. <clears throat> Looks like they have try to replicate like the McDonald's shapes, the bell, the boot, you know, those things. It has a good crust to it. Let's see how it tastes. The texture does look like chicken nugget meat. Not like that thing which looks like a tofu kind of situation. I know it's not tofu but uh, it just looks weird. The impossible nugget I remove some of the breading it has the color of a chicken nugget. It looks like white meat chicken. Honestly, if you put these in front of me and you did not label them 
Impossible Chicken Nuggets. The flavor, I would almost say this is like better than chicken nuggets, like chicken McNuggets or Wendy's Nuggets, like fast food nuggets. This actually, I think, tastes better. The, the breading is super crispy. I mean, the flavor is like... more real fried chicken than regular chicken nuggets taste like fried chicken. It almost looks like striated meat. Look at that. Like fibrous almost. Like a muscle fiber. Not noodly like that looks. Again, Beyond ones didn't taste terrible. I wouldn't say they're bad, but they're not as good as real chicken or real chicken nuggets. You can noticeably taste that there's a bit of fakeness in there. The Impossible Chicken Nuggets. These are delicious. I got a little ranch sauce with them. But I didn't want to open it yet. But, I'm going to try them with ranch. Mm. don't know how they do it. But the food scientists at Impossible Brand Foods, you've done burgers, now you've done chicken nuggets. And these chicken nuggets are so good. I can see easily you can make these into a bigger chicken patty and make a sandwich. Of course, it wouldn't it wouldn't be like a solid piece of meat like some of these like really like the chicken or the Popeye's chicken sandwich. It would be more of a reformed chicken patty feel to it. But it's really tasty. The seasonings that, that they have in there, it doesn't taste like overly peppery or anything. It just tastes like savory, like meat. Somehow it brings out a meaty chicken flavor from... No meat and no chicken. If McDonald's were to get Impossible Nuggets, I think people might actually order them more often than the regular chicken nuggets because they taste really good. I got uh, six packs of them uh, at the dog house. They were about like six dollars, so, so they're not cheap. Um, so that might be difficult for a place like McDonald's to sell them uh, over the regular nuggets because they're going to have to increase the price. But if you're a vegetarian or a vegan and you want chicken nuggets or chicken products in general, you would be satisfied by the Beyond one. I'm going to try some of this ranch. The ranch will probably make it much better. Ranch helps, but honestly, you can still taste the fakeness. You can feel the texture and the flavor. It's not like chickeny flavor. It's something that's close to, but not. But the uh, Impossible Nuggets. I don't know why I... Next time the, anything impossible comes out, I'm not going to doubt it. They can come out with impossible filet mignon. I'd be like, it probably tastes just like a filet mignon. It's got to. They're two for two so far. The, the burger, 
which is now you can get in a burger or just ground meat. Both are good. And now the chicken nuggets. Delicious. I don't know what more I can say about this. Um, I think it's like a month away before they're in stores. But if you have a fat burger or a doghouse, I think there's a third one, but I can't remember. But look on their website and you'll find out. The Impossible Chicken Nuggets are amazing. I'm a carnivore. I eat meat. But I'll be very honest when something is vegetarian or vegan and it is delicious. And the Impossible Nuggets are delicious. That's all I have to say about that. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And we'll see you on, on the next one.